Hey, Karen Beers here. I have a video tutorial for you. It's one of my first videos, so I'm kind of excited. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I have lots more to come, so any ideas of what you want made or techniques you want to see, please leave that to me in the comments. And any helpful hints or tips that can make my videos better, I really appreciate it. I'm excited to have you with me on this journey. So I'm going to be making a foam journal using a disc binding system by Eileen Hull. This is the idea, this is the system that she has and basically what it is is a die, so you can see here, oh, sorry, shaky camera, a die that you see here that will cut thicker materials so that you can put the discs on. So um, it'll cut cardboard, chipboard, mat board. What we're gonna be doing though is a foam fabric cover, which is kind of a neat concept. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. So the materials you're gonna wanna use are the Thermoweb um, Decofoil Foam Adhesive. And they have it in six by 12. If it's not available, because it's, it's coming back. They were thinking of discontinuing it, but they're going to bring it back. So there might be a, an in-between where it's harder to get. Rebecca Meyer also makes one. I'm just going to show you the logo. Um, Re Rebecca Meyer makes them and her size sheets are 9 by 12. The nice thing about the 6 by 12 is that they fit the our Eileen Hull's dies perfectly so it's already cut out for you. But either way for this project we're going to have to cut the foam so it's either one will work perfectly fine. This is basically what we've got. This is what I'm going to end up with. And again, I showed you the disc binding system. So you can see we're going to be able to, I'll probably only need four discs for this, which is convenient. Here's another example of the system. So we'll probably, uh, we'll see, maybe we'll do five. It just depends. We'll see what we feel like, but I think four might be good. So basically, these are the foam sheets, and they're double-sided adhesive, so they're sticky. So I cut one out first, just to show a good way to figure out where your placement is going to be. I can put my cover around, knowing that this is the size of my cover. Where in my fabric am I going to want my um, cover and my back side of my project to be? So I can kind of mix and match and then think, oh yeah, like I really like this piece of fabric right here. Kind of like this. So my idea that I'm making today is I'm going to do a Valentine book. It's for a design team that I'm on, but um, I really like the idea of this special delivery, which is kind of neat because it, it goes with Valentine's. The book I'm going to be making, I'm going to put um, photos from Creativation 2018 of the people that I meet and and kind of you know we we form a pretty strong bond we designers and we work with different companies and it's just a great community to be in so I want to put photos and that's going to be my book so I really like the idea of special delivery because that would be cool special delivery and then the numbers and the only concern I have is I know that I won't be using this color red um, for the heart that I'm going to put on the front so I'm kind of trying to figure that out but Basically, all I'm going to do is take a piece of foam that's cut a little bit bigger and I'm going to place it somewhere, you'll see in a minute, and uh, create my top, my cover. So one of the improvements I've made since I made that video is when I showed you how to take your piece of, you know, cut foam or whatever to place and figure out your placement, I came up with a better idea cut out a piece of acetate. This is my book cover that's this size. And I cut out a piece of acetate. I edged it with Sharpie so I could see the edges. Now I have a really good way to figure out what my book cover would look like for placement. And then I can simply hold that, slide my piece of foam underneath, adhere it, and cut my book cover. So that was just a quick tip that, um, I like it. It's kind okay, of cool. So here we go. I've cut my fabric and basically, um, as you see, I have four pieces that I'm going to mix and match. I think this is going to be my cover. So what I've done is I've already put the adhesive, foam adhesive on my fabric and this is the other side. And then I have to figure out what I want on the inside. But what I'm thinking is I really did like that special delivery. So I put that on a piece of foam adhesive as well. 
and I'm going to stick it on the inside of my book because then I don't have to worry about the, the heart I'm going to put on the cover. So I think I'm going to do this is going to be my inside and then this is going to be my back pieces. So all I do, it's so simple, is I'm going to peel off and it's easier if you peel off from the middle instead of the um, corners. Of course, it never works in a demo. It's very funny. But see, that was pretty simple. And if you have a hard time doing that, if you don't have fingernails or whatever, just take your pokey hole tool. This is a really great trick. You take your pokey hole tool and you just slide it under and it, it'll pull up really easily. And then I'm going to pull my... Um, piece up so now this is sticky so one of the things I always do because I can be a bit of a flippity gibbet I don't know about you I always double check and make sure okay this is right side up if I if I'm worried about my writing and all of that because this fabric has writing and I kind of for this purposes I kind of do sometimes I don't care when I'm doing mixed media and then all I'm going to do is stick my fabric on top of the adhesive it's very forgiving so if I don't like my placement, I can peel it up. But I, I want to try not to do that because, of course, then that takes away the sticky. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bone folder, and I really want to adhere this um, fairly well because, you know, I want it to last. I have to say, I had a book at Creativation, which I will show you, called My Precious. I called it My Precious because it was my precious. I fell in love with it. I don't know, as artists, sometimes we like our projects, but most times... You know, they're all right. This, I was just loved it. I'll show you what it is. Um, so here we go. And then that way I've got a nice, good seal. I have to say that project was in purses and bags and hauled around and opened and closed. And it did not come apart at all. So that was kind of great to know. So I'm going to do the same thing with my back piece. I'm just going to pull that up. Again, here I'll show you using this so you can see. Just how simple it is. Of course, I say it's simple and then I do. There we go. Look how simple that was simple, actually. I got a little. There you go. And then I'm going to pull that up. So I'm just going to do the same with that. I'm going to check and make sure. Yes, I'm writing side up. And I'm going to use this piece because I really like. Even though it might not be my color scheme, it's going to be the back, back side or it's going to be the um, back cover, so it's fun. And you know, we're artists, we can mix and match, right? It doesn't have to always be perfect. you got to let go of that. It's got to be perfect. You don't just slap it on there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you okay. how we do it. So what I'm going to use for this is Eileen Hull's Passport Die has a really great size cover and that's what I want to use for my cover for this project and that's one of the things we love using we love showing you is the design inspiration team that you can use different her dies for different things it doesn't have to be for what they were designed for so basically the cover is going to be um, this size here we've got three and a half by five so that's a really nice size so I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to put it, and it doesn't really matter, but if you're doing paper and stuff and you really want to put the front paper down so that you get the nicer cut for the front cover. One of the things I like to do, now I should have, what I should have done is trim this and maybe I'll do this to show you. We're going to teach you good habits because I don't have good habits. You get used to doing this and you just sort of, I want it to be right beside my foam so I don't make a mistake because let's be serious. I don't want to go to the trouble of covering everything and then cut, you know, cut it in the wrong place. So I'm doing this for you guys. I'm going to cut that fabric off and so I know where the edge of it is. That's sort of right the edge of my foam. And then I'm going to put my die. You just, you can just use the short cutting pads. You don't have to use the long ones. And I'm going to put my fabric, fabric size down. I'm going to line it up. But one of the things I like to do because I things shift is to take a piece of washi tape and just give it a little bit of the tape and that'll help hold your project in place so you cut it properly and you don't end up with 
um, any mistakes. And I'm going to double check. So here's my line. This is where it's going to cut. And yes, my foam is further down, so it's, it's a good. And it goes all the way to the edge. So double check. Yes, I'm good. And the reason why I double check is because I've done this so many times and ended up having to redo it. So now I've become a very good double checker. It's not worth the, the hassle. Put the top cutting plate on and I'm just going to run it through. And so what's nice about using the short plate is I'm done. I'm done here and I can lift my project. I don't have to go all the way through. And so this is what I end up with. Now with fabric, you might end up with, sometimes it does catch. Like you can see here, oh, sorry, I was out of camera. You can see here, I had a little bit of fabric, but um, so what it, you need to be a bit careful with this. So when I pull it off, I'll take a pair of scissors and I'll just, if it's really stuck, I'll just snip it. But here's my, here's my cover. How cool is that? And it just feels so nice because it's got that foam on the inside. So I'll just do that with the second piece. I won't bore you with the details. And then okay, we'll video's done. I was too long, so I have to put it into two parts, part one and two. Part two is coming up, and that is going to be um, using the disc binding system to create the book. I hope you join me.